Full sockets of finitude. Um, how did I get here? What are we doing here? I thought we were just going to put the stones in the gauntlet. Talia and the stone snatching evil had all five stones of finitude together. For these to be mounted into the gauntlet of finitude, they would first have to be inserted into the ritual rune sockets of finitude. What? What's this bullshit? Tristan just inserted the damn things into the gauntlet? No, you just didn't see that sequence. It happened off screen. The hell he did? I watched him do it myself. Ah. Oh, okay, I suppose there's no way I can get out of this. And did I hear you correctly earlier when you said part one? Huh. Each of the stones had to be taken to its corresponding room socket. Talia and the not getting wound up about artificially prolonged game time evil set to work. Oh, well, I'm sure as hell pissed off about this lousy plot twist. It almost looks like someone wanted to get a few more levels in just because there were 20 missions in Dungeons 3. And now, just because someone is afraid of a few bad reviews, I have to put in an extra shift. Well, thanks a lot, you out there. But hey, what the hell? Let's get going. Show the gormless developers that we can jump through a few extra hoops on top of everything else. Onward, creatures. Find those rune sockets. Get the normal stones, the non-rune stones there. And let's finally put this freaky thing to bed. Manivores have been discovered in your dungeon. Your little snots have dug up a spider. The sniffing around the underground evil's creatures had discovered one of the rune chambers, in the center of which was one of the rune sockets. Using the hand of terror made placing the stone there child's play. Rune chambers, rune sockets, non-rune stones. 
creativity must have gone into overtime there, huh? The frantically button-pushing evil could now place the first stone of finitude in a ruined socket and unleash its powers. A stone once placed could no longer be removed. Okay, so it's important to pick the exact bonus we need most right now. Phew, strategic decision. I'm more of a head-through-the-wall person myself. Well, so... Just the first thing that comes to mind, and on we go. The first stone of finitude was placed and began to shine in the base of the rune socket. Wonderful, then let's move on. I still have something important to do. Why, do you have another appointment? You betcha. Hello, Thanos, head, spear, ring any bells? The legendary Stone of Swiftness had now unleashed its full power. From now on, the absolute evil could use this to make its creatures even faster. The digging evil's creatures had discovered another rune chamber in the underground. The second stone of finitude had been placed. Only three more stones waited to take their proper place. The stone of damage was now in the damaging evil's arsenal and could be used to strengthen its creatures. Snots have dug into a spider nest. In order not to make things too easy for Talia, the storytellers had decided to have heroes appear here far from any civilization to attack the dungeon. Story intrinsic logic was something that happened to other people. Another room chamber has been discovered. stone of finitude was placed. Two more stones needed to be placed. The stone of efficiency was now at the effective evil's disposal. From now on, its runes would be able to work much more effectively. <laughs> One of your creatures has died. Enemies have entered the dungeon.
Thanos' fanatical fighters grew stronger and stronger. In order to defeat them, the leveling evil's creatures had to become even stronger. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Someone capped the maximum level at 10. Phenom! This was only partially correct. Actually, the demonic Vault of Might offered the ability to raise the maximum level. The secretly leveling its creatures above the maximum level evil immediately tried it out. Oh, yeah, you can bet your sweet bippy we're going to try that out. How come you only tell us something like that right before the end, just when the final battle is practically about to begin? It's called an Ark of Suspense. A couple more of your little catchphrases, and I'll suspend you over a gorge. But whatever, hop to it, little snots. Make some space for a bolt of might. Ha 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 ha. A gold vein is almost exhausted. a spider. A gold vein has been mined out. The Digging Evil's creatures had discovered another room chamber in the underground. You've dug into a spider room. The fourth stone of finitude was in place. Only one more stone had to be placed before the gauntlet could be charged. Wait a minute. What do you mean, could be charged? I think it's better if you just wait and see. Ah, that does not bode well. The Stone of Health manifested its power to the healing evil. From now on, it could cheerfully have its creatures regenerate. Another rune chamber has been discovered. The fifth stone was placed in the corresponding rune socket. The ritual could begin. I knew it! Not only have I now wasted so much time dragging these damn stones around everywhere, no! Naturally, this nonsense is just going to keep going on forever! Let me guess what the next mission's about. Well, of course, it could well be that there were heroes who would try to disrupt the ritual. A certain dwarf queen somehow comes to mind. Oh, of course, that makes sense. 
If you have to buy yourself some more game time somewhere, then you might as well do it right. The keyboard torturing hack cobbling this story together, better hope I never get my hands on him. Rune Socket.